Relations between Iran and the United States started long back in the 19th century that was introduced by the Shah of Iran during then Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. He perceived the U.S. as one of the most trustworthy foreign power, which led him to select the American and Morgan Chester Arthur Millspaw as their treasurer general also. The relationship continued to be positive even after the Second World War. But it was then when the Islamic religious leader Ayatollah Khomeini inspired the people of Iran, including the students, to raise their voice against the Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who was backed by the U.S. government. Numerous incidents took place one by one, such as Iranian Revolution, hostage crisis, etc., which can better explain the relationship between Iran and USA. Here we have explained that part in details. So have a read to know more about the Iran and U.S. conflict. 1979 Iranian Revolution 1979 Iranian Revolution is a great incident in the history of the world which has shaken the whole world. The Islamic people along with the revolutionary students feared the power of U.S. government and they planned to throw the then Prime Minister Shah who was backed by the U.S. government. Numerous demonstrations, strikes, etc. took place almost every day. And finally, on 16th of January 1979, Iran was announced as an Islamic Republic. Mohammad Reza Pahlavi was thrown out of Iran and he was replaced by Ayatollah Khomeini. This supreme leader returned from exile after a long time and took the power of Iran in hand. During then, Shah was suffering from cancer and he requested to enter into the U.S. Initially, his request was dismissed by the American Embassy in Tehran, but later on, the President Carter allowed his entry in the U.S., which led to another incident once again. U.S. Embassy Hostage Crisis As Shah was allowed an entry to the U.S., it created anger among the Islamic-supported people and they attacked the American Embassy in Tehran. Almost 52 Americans were taken as hostage by them and they were released after 444 days. This incident was opposed by the then interim Iranian government Mehdi Bazargan and he resigned soon. The American military performed a rescue operation but it failed completely and led to the death of eight American militants. Finally, on January 19, 1980, the Algiers Accords in Algeria was signed and the hostage was released on 20th of January. Iran-Contra Affair As the hostages were free, it amazed the President Ronald Reagan and he was secretly shipping weapons to Iran to improve the relation between the two countries. It is said that this shipping of weapons is an exchange for hostage. But this was actually against the rule of U.S. government as the Prophet's mates were allegedly channeled to rebel Nicaragua. It created a political crisis in the U.S. and Ronald Reagan denied of sending any weapons to Iran. Anyways, later he confirmed that he sent weapons to Iran, but it was not an exchange of the American hostages. 1988, Shutdown of the Iran Air Flight 655 On the 3rd of July 1988, a U.S. missile cruiser USS Vincennes shut down an Iranian air flight, ending 290 lives, including 66 children. It was a commercial flight that had people from six nations, while the number of people from Iran was more. The U.S. government explained that this was a warplane which was outside the civilian corridor and did not respond to the radio calls. They also regretted this incident but never apologized to the Iranian government. It angered the Iranian government once again and they stated that this attack was intentional and a complete unlawful act. Even though the U.S. government stated that this flight was mistaken for a fighter jet, but the Iranian government refused all this explanation. Katami Presidency In 1998 January, Katami was elected as the next president of Iran who was a reformist. He immediately called for a dialogue of civilization, 
which was intended to rejuvenate the relation between Iran and the U.S. He stated that there are loads of similarities between these two countries and went to further state the similarities of their quest for freedom. The American president responded positively to this and it resulted in a freer travel between the two countries while the American embargo of Iranian pistachios and carpets were put an end. September 11 Attack September 11 attack is another memorable incident in the world history that took so many lives of Americans. On the anniversary day of September 11, President Katami met the British Foreign Secretary Jack Saw to convey their sad feelings for the Americans that for the terrorist attack in New York and Washington on September 11. Access of Evil Speech just four months after the 9-11 incident, on 29th of January 2002, Bush, the then U.S. President, gave an axis of evil speech where he poked Iran along with Iraq and North Korea as the axis of evil and also stated that these are the countries to give birth of terrorism. This speech was condemned by many including the reformists and conservatives while it outraged the Iranian governments as well. 2002. Iran's Nuclear Program U.S. alleged that Iran is developing nuclear weapon and stated that nuclear-armed Iran is not at all accepted, but Iran stated that this nuclear weapon are only for the sake of generating electricity. Anyways, the official denied that fact and by 2006, the American and European noted that Iran became so powerful that they have enough to create 10 atomic bombs. So, it was the time to conduct for a Security Council of Act. 2013. Rouhani Obama Phone Call After a long gap of 30 years, conversation happened between the America and Iran government in 2013. Iran President Hassan Rouhani and Barack Obama expressed their will to end the dispute that was due to the nuclear program. As of now, the two countries are in good touch since 2013, and they even planned a talk on Iraq. Military support to Iraq's Shia-led government was considered by both countries, and they are also talking frequently on the nuclear issue.